Hey money loves, welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see from the title, yesterday we are dying a synthetic wig. This wig is of course from hairspells.com. This is the light blonde synthetic lace front wig. This wig is in 24 inches. I will have a link as well as a coupon code down below. So if you guys are interested, definitely check this hair out. A few specs about this hair before we get started. It is also available in 22 inches as well. It is heat resistant. I actually did recurl this hair down here at the bottom. I just had my flat iron on 370, 350 to 370. I wouldn't suggest going any higher than that or you will like burn the hair. We don't want that, okay? In my pink hair synthetic wig video, I did show you guys how I style hair spells synthetic wigs so you can use heat. I also suggest using boiling water, but because this wig was dyed, I don't suggest actually using water more than once. So once you dye this wig and rinse out the extra ink, I don't suggest washing the hair or the color will fade. I suggest just spot cleaning the hair if you wanna get any dirt or oil or anything out of it. With this wig, the hairline did come pretty full, so I decided not to pluck it. And this hair is really long, you guys. And it is super, 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 super thick. The only downfall about dyeing this hair with ink and the alcohol mixture is the hair does start to shed a lot. But because this wig is super thick, it will just it just works out perfectly because I really think this hair is just too thick as a synthetic wig. I don't like my wigs to be this thick, you guys. Maybe if this was human hair, it would be fine, but this it's just a lot. This hair is all like 180 to 200% density. Like it is that's how thick this hair is. But if you guys want to see how I got this hair color, just keep on watching. As always, I'm going to be showing you guys how the hair came. It came in this purple bag with the hair spells a name on the front. And I'm just going to open this up and show you guys what the hair looks like. Of course, it came in another bag and I'm going to pull the hair out and show how long it is, you guys, and how thick this hair is. As y'all can see, this hair is super long and thick all the way through. And this hair is, like I said, in 24 inches. And on the back of that has the contact information for hair spells. And the texture of this hair is a little bit um, rough. It's not as soft as I'm used to. Excuse my ashy hands, y'all. Lord have mercy. Um, the hairline of this hair is thick as well it is a little bit plucked but it is thick i did not feel like plucking this hairline i feel like it looks good enough just to wear but inside the wig comes three combs two on the side one in the middle and also two adjustable straps in the back All the things you'll need for this is a pair of gloves, some rubbing alcohol. In this video, I use 91% because that's all I had, but most people suggest 70% rubbing alcohol. I also went to Michael's and got some acrylic ink, and this is the brand Liquitex ink, and I have it in the color Vivid Lime Green. And you'll also need a tub to put the hair in when you dye it. So this process is a pretty simple. All you do is pour in however amount of alcohol. That's pretty much what I did. I didn't measure it or anything. Sorry, you guys. And then I added in a couple of drops of ink at first because I wanted to test out and see how much I needed. And then you guys will see what happened. Also, if you guys can't find any acrylic ink, you can also use the ink of a Sharpie. So if you guys have Sharpies laying around, use the ink inside that marker and you can do the same thing. 
To give you guys an idea of how much alcohol I use, I use about the height of around two inches of alcohol in that tub. So it wasn't a lot and it coated the entire wig. You guys can use a lot less than that, but I wasn't sure because the wig was so thick. And you guys can see that I put in three to four full drops in the tub at first, just to test it out. So if you guys wanted to go to your craft store and get this acrylic ink, it was only about $3. Yes, guys, it was super cheap to do this project and the alcohol is only a dollar, two dollars. So yeah. Now, as you can see, I'm just dunking the wig in there and coating it with all of the alcohol. And you guys will see that it turned out a very pale green and that was obviously not the look I was going for I wanted the actual color So since the color didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, I just squeezed out the alcohol and I just poured two shots of ink. <laughs> two shots of vodka. Ooh, it's gonna be strong. So yeah, I just poured all of that ink into the tub and that worked out really well. The color came out the exact same way it is in the bottle. So if you guys want the actual color, I do suggest at least half of the ink if you want to get that solid opaque color. After massaging that color in and tossing the wig around, the color ended up sticking, but I did let it sit overnight. I let the wig dry overnight, so if you guys wanted to hang it up somewhere and let it dry, it will drip, so make sure you have um, a towel or something on the floor or hang it up outside and let it dry completely overnight. I wanted to make sure I got this clip in here for you guys. I did notice after dyeing the wig that it started shedding a lot. I'm not sure whether that was from the alcohol or the quality of this wig, but it did shed tremendously, y'all. It was like clumps of hair coming out. But I felt like since this wig is so thick, it actually needs to shed. So, you know, two inches on. Now, after I let the wig dry overnight, this is what it looks like. It will be hard. So I suggest you guys taking a wide tooth comb and starting from the ends and detangling it all the way up to the roots. If you guys have a detangling brush, that will work as well. And this is what the wig will look like after you get it all combed or brushed out. It is super soft and manageable. It still moves it's the exact same way the wig was when I first got it out the pack. Also, after you guys go ahead and detangle it, I do suggest um, rinsing the wig out because there is going to be some ink residue left over. So if you guys want to rinse it out and let it air dry once again, go ahead and do that. I did find that the hair was tangling up, so I went ahead and used some organic natural detangler. This is good for synthetic wigs and also a natural hair. As y'all can see, that conditioning spray really helps the wig and the comb brush slide right through the hair. So if you guys want to get that from your beauty supply or hair store, that will make everything a lot easier. 
So that is pretty much all there is to dyeing a synthetic wigs. If you guys have any questions, definitely ask them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye money loves.